Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of History Talk. I'll be your host, Richard, as we navigate the wonderful world of comparing fractions in Fallout lore to actual groups in history. <laughs> and as I always say, onward and upward. This episode, we will be looking at the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 3. And what we are comparing them to is the Templar Knights. First, a little backstory on the Templars, and then we'll get on to the comparisons. On second thought, let's just get on to the comparisons. Comparisons I first saw that the Templar Order were formed to protect pilgrims on the road to the Rusa. That was their main dealio, so to speak. And Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 3, their main objective was to find technical documents, technology, which was Brotherhood of Steel's entire mantra throughout their existence. But they eventually started protecting innocent civilians of the Capital Wasteland. So, protecting pilgrims on the road to Jerusalem, protecting the tribals of the Capital Wasteland. Very, very similar, in my opinion. Another thing was the collection and preservation of relics. Relics in terms of the Templar Order religious themed relics like the thorny crown Jesus wore on the cross, a slither of the true cross, um, what are the other ones? Shot of Turban was in one. Well, anyway, and for the Brotherhood of Steel, their biggest find when they went to the Capital Wasteland was Liberty Prime. You know him, you love him, he hates communists, and so should you. Oof. Anyway, the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 3 also structure, is structured like a Knight's Order, and just like the Templars, goes without saying. Another very interesting thing that I saw that was kind of comparison. They were devoted to what they did. The Knights Templar were warrior monks who believed in protecting pilgrims, who believed in Christendom. The Brotherhood of Steel Although they strayed from the path of the original chapter by caring for the civilians of the Commonwealth instead of just caring for technology, still searched for, actively searched for and protected technology. So their belief is basically the same. Another comparison that's actually Probably to you not as fascinating, but to me is very fascinating. The Brotherhood of Steel is really the true, first true military force to come out of the Great War. We're not even going to discuss the Enclave, not, not in this video at least. <laughs> and the same can be said about the Templars. They're the first real professional military force since the Roman Empire. Similarities between them, the collapse of the Roman Empire and the rise of Christendom gave way to the rise of the Templar Order. <coughs> and etc. etc. And the Fallout 4, well, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, sorry, the Fallout lore. The Brotherhood of Steel rebelled, mutinied against the, gover the U.S. government, 
and form their own forces, their own little community, and eventually would rise to be a major player in almost all the Fallout games, except for Fallout New Vegas, where they're basically hiding in a hole in the ground. <laughs> Also, the way the Brotherhood of Steel chapter in Fallout 3 sort of didn't just break away from the main chapter, but were sort of shunned by the main chapter. They didn't like the fact that they were recruiting individuals from the Wasteland, which was a big Brotherhood no-no at the time. Yeah, you can say the Chosen One from Fallout 2, or the Vault Dweller from Fallout 1, or the Courier from Fallout New Vegas, but he really doesn't really become that much of a member, at least not in the games I've, not in the playthroughs I've played Fallout New Vegas. And uh, the lone survivor and fought for. But truly, those people were exceptional and exceptional, exceptional individuals, sorry. And were sent on tasks that they weren't expected to survive. So, yeah, they didn't really recruit from outside of the Brotherhood of Steel. And so they were basically kicked out of the chapter until their Maxim comes of age and becomes the Elder and sort of brings not only the outcasts, more on them on another video, back into the fold and basically reunites the Western chapter with the Eastern chapter and becomes the Brotherhood of Steel again, and he reforms and blah 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 blah. Now, the Templars gets a little hairier. Um, they're accused of heresy, which, if you accuse a monk of heresy, that's kind of a big deal. And they are mostly in France. They are arrested. And the proper the property of the Templar orders there is detained, and many Templars on a Friday on the Friday the thirteenth, which is one of the reasons why Friday the thirteenth is associated with bad luck, are virtually punished in many crazy ways. It's medieval year of guys. I don't think I have to go into too much detail about that. <laughs> and um, another similarity, which is kind of on the nose, their use of armor. And their mastery of what they do. Their use of armor, one's power armor, and one may or may not deflect arrows or oh, a uh, short sword. <laughs> One is capable of stopping basically a direct hit from a rocket launcher. The other one's basically laced metal. <laughs> the weapons are different because, again, the arrows are different. You got spears and swords versus laser gantling, gantling lasers and uh, laser rifles, the whole shebang. Now I'm not going to say vertebrates because in Fallout 3 the Brotherhood does not have any vertebrates. In fact, I never really see an instance where the Brotherhood has vertebrates up until Fallout 4. Which, you know, they kind of salvaged that from the Enclave on the East Coast, and they both have a common goal. One is to protect and maintain the Holy Land, protect pilgrims on the road. I can't stress that point enough because you'll never find another documentary on the 
Templar Knights that doesn't stress that enough. And one is to bring purified water to the wasteland. Uh, find and catalog technology. Maintain a presence on the East Coast. And defeat the Enclave. Both groups last did for 200 years up to Fallout 3. And I gotta say that the Brotherhood in Fallout 3 is my favorite chapter of all time. Because they're less concerned about their shiny toys and defeating a more technologically superior force. They're more into protecting the people of the place they're stuck in. I believe the Elder Lion's idea of recruiting from the general population was good because he, he couldn't exactly call for reinforcements. It would take months for people from California to get out to the capital wasteland. I believe that his reforms to the Brotherhood chapter were really interesting. And to me, the Templar Order, this is a subject I've never touched on before. I've never really looked into the Templars before. I've always been interested, but I've never really extensively studied. And if you look on the other playlist that just says history talk, you'll see a couple of documentaries I found on the Templar Order that are pretty interesting. You should check those out. And what struck me, the, the hardest part of doing this documentary, this little video of mine about comparing these two groups, is it's stuff that I know a bit about the Fallout 3 chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. I know actually not that much about the Templar Order. So, it was hard. And I'm sorry about this video being late. This is probably going to be a short video because, quite honestly, it was very hard to make these comparisons. And I apologize for that. I'm hoping that the next video will be shorter. And to give you a kind of a hint about what that is going to be like, is I'm going to focus a lot on the uh, Outcasts. I have the Outcasts DLC for Fallout 3. I'm going to do a playthrough of that over the week and try and figure out what to do about that. I'm thinking of comparing them to the... Protestants during the Reformation, Martin Luther, stuff like that, because that, that's what compares them to me. So we're going to stick with a bit of a medieval theme here, during, from the Crusading eras to sort of the Reformation, basically the Reformation. Now obviously there's more history behind this, but that's what I could find to compare it to. This video is incredibly short compared to the other. I mean, the other one I, what, granted 40 minutes, basically, about the railroad of our timeline and the railroad of the Fallout 4 timeline. Think about it. <laughs> now, I told you that none of these videos, in the last update video, I told you that none of these videos are going to be exactly long or have a set time or a set date. It's going to be every two weeks I, put, I push these out. And right now I'm in the middle of summer classes and if you have taken summer classes in college you, you know how hard it is to maintain basically breathing and college. <laughs> and Yeah. The reason I like the Brotherhood chapter in Fallout 3 
is because they're selfless. They put helping others ahead of themselves. And yeah, they kind of kick you away at the door when you first come up. If you first come up to the Pentagon. And before you do the whole escape from Project Purity thing. But they're really there to protect the people. They even help establish uh, GNR. Galaxy News Radio. Go 3Dog, he's my favorite radio DJ of the entire lore series. And for the Templars, they really revolutionized medieval Europe. Not only were they the first mil real professional military force since the Roman Empire, but they also developed what we consider a modern banking system. Where they loan and collect money from everyone from pilgrims, religious pilgrims trying to make their way to the Holy Land, to monarchs. And that's really one of the reasons why the King of France accu tried to accuse them, because apparently the King of France had owed them a lot of money, and probably was not going to pay it back, so he just decided to launch a smear campaign, which resulted in basically the crumbling of the Templar Order. And eventually some Templars were excommunicated by the church. And a lot of them fled to England and other countries. And I believe there is still a small chapter of Templar Knights in Scotland. From the last documentary I watched, which you will not find anywhere on the documentaries on the History Talk playlist. And it's just amazing to think about. I tried to think of another group I could compare them to. Originally, I was going to compare them to the UN forces during Korea, but I thought that would even that would probably have been an even shorter comparison because there's not much of a comparison there. And then I thought I was going to compare it to. the um, French resistance during World War II, but then again, there was just no comparison. You see where I'm going with how hard this comparisons video was, and how difficult it was to put together. And I'm sorry this is late, I said it was going to be put on a Wednesday, and then I said it's going to be put on s Thursday, but things have come up, my uploading capacity has been kind of iffy lately, and I'm hoping this gets out on time on Thursday. If not, I apologize for that. And again, the, these videos, they're not going to have a set time. They're not going to have a set time run and day. I'm going to try and get them out on Mondays. I'm going to try and, if I'm not on Mondays, I'm going to try and get them out on Wednesdays. Those are days I have off. I'm, it's looking like I'm going to be working six days a week, so the videos are going to be a little shorter than usual. But I'm going to do my best to give you a very good comparisons on the Outcasts. But i got to play the DLC on the Outcasts before I can do that. I'm going to try and get this pushed out two weeks from now, but if I don't, expect it the very next week, if not on a Sunday night. So, I apologize for how short this video is, I apologize that the historical comparisons thing is very short. So I guess I'm going to end the video right here. And uh, like us, 
share, subscribe, do whatever you need to do, bro. And uh, ring that bell because God knows YouTube needs to make extra steps, right? <laughs> I'm going to be uploading another update video, hopefully in the next couple of days, letting you know how the things are going. And if you need up-to-date information about how this channel is going to be conducting itself, please uh, look us up on Facebook at Train Crash TV, Games, History, and Other. And that's where we're going to... I'm also going to be posting these videos, I'm going to be posting the update videos, I'm going to be typing in updates, and I'm going to be posting different stuff from different Facebookers, Facebook users, sorry, <laughs> and they're, they're funny videos, you should give them a watch. I'm going to be posting some stuff I find on YouTube, and if you want a good laugh or something interesting, please look on our playlist uh, Tales from the uh, of the Odd Ones which you can find in the playlist section of this YouTube channel and that's originally what the YouTube channel was about was making playlists of different kind of videos that I find on the internet and all of a sudden hey just make videos yourself like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time for some more history talk we will be continuing our Fallout 4 historical comparisons. Here's looking at you, kid. Careful on the road to the Fallout universe.